Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> He's fucking running. Did you see him on the mini map? Uh, this is a separate recording session. I thought he was going to be in the end of the hallway. That is so fucking wacky. おだ。今のは何だ。ああ、気にしなくていい。アジア外はお前を歓迎するってさ。なんて言っても信じねえか。うん。そうだな。ああ、それより顔役には俺から話をする。お前は余計なこと言わなくていい。俺に任せてくれ
陳さんは一度下した決断を変える方じゃありません私たちもアジア外にいる以上そのことをわきまえておくべきですここに桐生さんをかくまうことはできませんでも社長おだもういい事情はよくわかった俺はよそに行く帰る前にお茶を一杯どうだねそのくらいはここにいても構わんよい,いえお気遣いなく<音声>すみません桐生さん私もあの陳さんがここまで堂島組を恐れているとは思っていませんでした風間のおやつさんも言ってた何年か前堂島組は外国人のしのぎを奪って大きくなったって聞いているその時かなりの血が流れたらしいああ俺たちはその頃まだ神室町にいなかったそれで陳さんとの間に温度差があったようだいいんだ俺はここを出るまた連絡してくれそれなら西公園で身を隠すのが良いかとここほど安全とは言いませんが西公園ホームレスのたまり場になっていますあそこなら堂島組もすぐに桐生さんを見つけられはしないでしょうわかったそれにしても今は逃げ回るので手一杯だな空の一つぼの方はどうなってる持ち主を抑えるって話だったはずだええでもその話はまた後で西公園に行ったら今夜だけはそこでしのいでください明日迎えに上がりますこの寒空に野宿かかける言葉が見つかりませんふん<笑>ならあんたも一緒にどうだ今二人でいるのは目立ちますそれに私は明日のために少し準備がありますから準備何だ大したことじゃありませんそっかそれじゃあ明日だなええそれではまたなんとか堂島組に見つからないように気をつけてください分かってる Tachibana really made a miraculous recovery Tachibana said I should head for West Park I don't have anywhere else Now that I've been kicked out of Little Asia, might as well take his advice. I'm going to the fucking drugstore. Because this is bullshit. Wait, this is Little Asia? Could I have gone here this whole time? Or was it. <laughs> Radic videos, it's hilarious. Was it always locked off? I hope it doesn't, like, friggin' lock me out of going to the damn drugstore. <laughs> Too slow. Hold up. Ah, uh, there it is. Oh, let the bass know. Oh, oh, oh. I need your strongest stamina and royales. I need. There we go. That should be good for a while. Awesome. Hmm, I have a feeling this might be another short chapter if I go to the homeless camp. I don't want to do some side activities. Probably buy a property and get some cash to redo as well. Okay. Got a score on this? Oh, this must be the same friggin' three songs that are available for Majima as well. Uh, 
I mean, I haven't seen these songs, but I want to do Bakumi Time. I don't want to just sit there. Clap like a jackass. I sing for you. I got a low score on this the last time. It's deceptively difficult. The little bar thing moves so fucking quick sometimes. There's supposed to be other images too. I wonder what the odds are that I keep getting the same one. Maybe it changes with the like part in the story you're at? Not 100% sure. 89. <laughs> That's so dog shit. One day I'll get the 100. Hmm. Can't see the Camarocho map from here. Alright, so it's a karaoke place. Now I can go to the erotic videos. Could go to the telephone club to see what that's like. I think I kind of want to do that. Oh my god, that's how you get into Little Asia? That's, that's so fucking wacky. It's like the friggin' Junji Ito episode. I forget what it's called. You know, the one comic. The infamous comic. This is my hole. Huh? Take the cash, losers. Pick it up off the floor. Wait, what? <laughs> one track mine, Kiryu. So this is a telephone club. Huh? Ah, huh? is this your first visit to our establishment? <laughs> this guy looks like a douche. What the fuck? Uh. Yeah, first time. Oh, what a deep manly voice you've got. Something wrong with that? No, no, on the contrary. In telephone clubs, it's the voice that matters. I can tell you, you're going to be popular with the ladies. If you say so, I don't know how this works. <laughs> of course. Please allow me to explain. Wait, what? <laughs> no. Uh, okay, I can't do this one. Okay, this is a telephone dating... I'm going to put a box on screen. It's a telephone dating simulation minigame with the mechanics of a shooting game. Aim well to have your character say the, all the right things and keep the conversation going to convince the girl on the other end to go on a date with you. Girls will call in to the telephone club every now and then. When the phone rings, an input icon will appear on the screen. Press the correct button quickly to pick up the phone. If you do not answer in time, the girl will hang up and you will have to wait again while the clock keeps ticking. Once you pick up the phone, 
box feature me. The conversation begins. To chat a girl up successfully, you'll need to choose the correct dialogue options without being too distracted by fantasies. Try not to offend or creep the girl out. Different dialogue lines flow. <laughs> oh my god, that's so hilarious. Different dialogue lines will float around the screen. I should I should explain if I'm gonna put boxes over it, I should explain what I'm saying. So there's like this fucking photo of the girl in the undies and like Kiryu's fucking thought bubbles that are bouncing around and you can pick one of the lines, but his like fantasies are floating in the same like bubble space. He's just picturing this person like Sienna and Clad. But faceless, I guess. It's actually hilarious. I can empathize with Kiryu. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, let's see. Once you find your desired response, cha charge your telephone line beam holding what? Charge your telephone beam holding click, aim with mouse, and then release click to shoot your line. What the fuck? Shoot the right dialogue lines, build up the mood, but if you hit the wrong words, your character might say something that could upset the girl. Upset a girl too many times, and she may hang up on you. If you want to hang up, hold shift. This can be useful if you get a bad feeling about a girl based on how she sounds. Not every caller will be your type, and her voice can be a clue. So, like, Andre's here? Or what? Okay, vital questions for let's. There are some personal questions you can ask only when the conversation is going well and the girl's in a good mood. The vital question roulette might pop up when that happens. The first roulette enables you to ask about the girl's body and the second about her face. With this info, your idea of what the girl looks like will grow into more detailed uh, image. The third roulette will let you ask girl out on a date. Succeed in picking the right line and she will agree to meet with you. The choices will be spinning quickly, but the right one will be highlighted. Press the E button when it's at front. Okay. It's good as long as people connect with others. <laughs> Alright, I'm fucking abandoning this place. Fuck that shit. That's another pervy minigame. I have to be offline. If ever. Oh, what's this place? Oh, Shogi. Fucking. I don't like Shogi. I say that. I've never actually played it. Why do I have a strong opinion about it? I've never played it. Look, I tried not to. Who the fuck are you? Sorry, but do you have any telephone cards? I'm a collector, and I'd be really grateful if you could just show me what you've got. I can pay you, even. All I want to look is to look, though. You see, I've got so much disposable income, I can pretty much buy whatever I want. But owning things isn't a real big deal to me anymore. Okay. Now, what I value is experiences, not things. Glimpsing an item of exceptional rarity means more to me than having it. I guess it couldn't hurt to show you my cards. Oh, I forgot to mention, I only want to see whole three-card sets. Single cards don't have enough impact on their own. What sets? You don't know? There are three cards for every girl, each with a different picture, A, B, and C. Three cards together make a complete set. Got it. Do I have any sets? No, I do not have any sets. Okay. That's cool. Oh yeah, I got sidetracked. <laughs> Does anyone remember the friggin' extra credits episode where they're talking about like, like how awesome it was that uh, uh Mr. Aeronic, Mr. Libido, uh, is like a freakazoid. The time I watched that, Wait, what? Oh, no, it's just a guy speeding up. <laughs> At the time I watched it, I don't think I really had a strong opinion on it. It's just sort of like not in lot uh, long. Oh, that makes sense. I feel like that's kind of weird and brutish almost. <laughs> I hope I'm not like defending anybody that's watching, but like, I think it actually matters if someone's like pervy or whatever. Okay, hold up. 
Wait, why is there an exclamation point in my place? Oh dear. What's the matter? Oh, Mr. President, I was just thinking about our workload. We're really short on staff. I was thinking the same thing. We've been managing more properties these days, but our hiring hasn't kept pace. So I wanted to ask you if it was alright for me to try and recruit new employees. So we'd post a job opening? Yes, at this rate, we're going to be overwhelmed by the workload soon. We should take steps to avoid that now. Right, I was just thinking it might be good to get some new blood in here, too. Yay, that settles it. I'll start recruiting. Great, go ahead. Make us look good. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have you handle the applicant interviews, Mr. President. Interviews? Me? I, I can't do that. What are you talking about? You're the head of this company. You're definitely on the hook for this. Hmm. Okay, you're doing it, Mr. President. I'll let you know when we get any incoming applicants, so please be ready. Got it. Okay, can I talk to her? Do we have applicants? Okay, I have to return. Oh, yes. Oh, money. <clears throat> Flow into my bank account. Okay, let's see. I think I think my dudes are tapped. Yeah, Stephen King, you're gonna have to fucking bounce. Alright, Bursera girls on duty. <laughs> Papillion is fucking actually dog shit. I guess, uh. Yeah, Tomotsu, Nagaoka. Nagaoka. You're perfect for this job. I, I want nobody to shake the boat. Awesome. And Gakuda Takashida's doing fine. Invest real quick. I only got three things to invest in, I think, so I don't need to like be super skippy. I masochistic man. Lorp the money. I could probably have friggin' Miracle Johnson do one. Yeah, let's see it. This is most definitely a waste, but fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> it's only a 400 yen increase. Or 400 million yen increase in dollar dues. Uh, no, not 400 million. 400,000. Yeah, that was so not worth. It's gonna take like 100 friggin' collections for that to pay off. Yeah. Definitely a mistake. Miracle Johnson has fucked me. I'll see if I can buy any Electronics King locations as well. I'm pretty sure those are in the 70 million range. Pretty soon, I think, I'll start collections there. I don't want to go, like, too crazy with it, because that might just be more bullshit to deal with, maybe? Maybe that doesn't make sense. Okay, Electronics King area, 59 million yen. Awesome. No, it doesn't make sense. I'll start I'll start collections in the Electronics King area. Oh yeah, I just want to ask cover. I'm not saying that uh, extra credits is shit or anything. Uh, I just uh those thoughts I had about that one video since I started playing this game. Oh, Mr. President, about that job opening, we have an applicant. Great. What do you want to do? Do you want to do the interview now? That's why I came here. Uh. Okay, sure, I'll interview the candidate. Great, let's get going then. Oh, but wait a minute. You're not going to conduct an interview looking like that, are you? Sure I am, so... Well, you don't really look like the president of company. We'll need to make you look more dignified and sagacious. I've never heard that word before. Saggy what? What does that have to do with anything? No, not saggy. You know, sagacious, like intelligent. Oh, I know. Is he going to have the glasses again? <laughs> I knew it. Can't let a glasses model go to waste. 
use every part of the buffalo. Those glasses you left lying around really suit you. They make you look both dignified and intelligent. Didn't expect to be wearing these again, actually. Looks like we're all set. I'll call in the applicant. I forgot what, uh, dot 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 actually has, like, a name. But I forget it. The applicant will be here soon. Please evaluate him to see if he's really motivated to work for us. Test of motivation, right? Yes, apparently there are applicants out there who only attend interviews to get cab fare from companies. Mm. Are people really sinking to scams that low? Don't worry, I can spot people like that a mile away. Where does that confidence come from? Dude, what a fucking loser. I don't even give a fuck if they're coming to scam me out of cab fare. I would rather just give them the cash to fucking go away without wasting time on them. Why doesn't he come in? You have to tell him to come in. No applicant would enter without permission. I don't get it. Please, just tell him to come in. He'll hurt his knuckles if he has to keep knocking. Come in. Excuse me. Ah, uh, this guy looks like he's a scammer already. I'm Haruhiku Ijuin. I'm honored to meet you. Why, why do they all have the dick-shaped hair? Yes, likewise. Doesn't he see the chair? Why doesn't he sit down? You have to invite him to sit. No job seeker would take a seat without being asked. What the hell is that about? Is this supposed to be funny? He's not fooling around. Job seekers are dead serious. Please let him sit. Please have a seat. Thank you. This is already exhausting. Is this going on much longer? Oh man, could you imagine being the fucking interviewer in the seat? Or interviewee? The job applicant, applicant dude. It hasn't even begun. At least ask him a few questions. You need to determine if he would be a good fit for it with us. A question, hmm. <laughs> what color is your underwear? <laughs> Why did you apply with us? Real estate is business that serves one of the basic human needs. Food, clothing, and shelter. It's one that is closely tied to people's daily lives. Someone working in such an industry would have to be trustworthy. They would also bear great responsibility. But that is where I see a worthwhile challenge. Uh, this is a classic job interview bullshit. I've also heard that your firm isn't afraid to put new recruits in charge of accounts right away. I felt this job would give me a great opportunity to really grow. Wow, that little speech rolled right off his tongue. He must practice it a lot. Huh. I'm impressed, Mr. President. He can actually run an interview. Keep going and see if a Juin San is the sort of person that would work with for us. Got it. What should I ask him next? <laughs> I feel like I might lose him as a person if I do like a fucking a meme answer I guess I'll do this have you ever experienced failure failure hmm no not especially I feel like I can deal with just about anything life throws my way so no I can't say I know what it's like to fail he must be especially blessed. Or maybe he's just lucky. Who knows? That sounds kind of inexperienced. Oh, do I have to go through the list? Or did I just hit the wrong question? What are your strengths? Well, I'm fluent in English. That's useful. I've lived in the States as a child, so I can manage most business dealings in English. Also, as the head of our university's tennis club, I often organized events and socials, and I think it made me a good planner and organizer. <laughs> He does appear to be very communicative. It look, he seems like he has many friends, too. Yeah, maybe. Are you willing to do anything? If you were to join my company, would you be willing to do anything? Yes, I eagerly await being able to exceed your expectations. So, anything? Yes, absolutely. I came to this interview to just prove how dedicated I can be. Item Kiryu. I know you want to. Remove his trustworthiness. 
Isn't that amazing? There's no hesitation at all. He sounds primed and ready to go. We'll see about that. I think that's all about all the questions we have for you. Ajuin hey, Juin-san, do you have any questions for us? Questions? Uh, no, nothing in particular. Oh yes, actually I heard that your firm makes hiring decisions on the spot. Is that true? Yes, you heard right. The president and I would like to confer about it, so if you could just give us a moment. What shall we do? Should we hire him? Oh no, she asked that. Huh? We decide now? Right now? Yes, the longer it takes, the more it will cost. We can't afford to sit on our decisions. How tight-fisted can you be? He is eloquent in describing why I want to join us. He can also speak English, plan events, and work well with people. What shall we do? I mean, he seems really hireable. You're hired. Really? Thank you very much. Congratulations. Please take this for your cab fare. Oh, did he scam us? <laughs> Thank you. Wonder what you'll be paying me. Pardon? Uh, nothing. I just got lost in my own thoughts. It's really nothing. I know it's short notice, but we'd like to have you start tomorrow. Does that work with you? Certainly. I'll see you bright and early. We're counting on you. You won't be disappointed. Okay, here's the thing. I've got losers in my employ. So this guy's fine. <gasps> no! Juinsan is awfully late. Yeah, maybe he forgot. I'll call him at home. Yeah, thanks. I hope he didn't get into an accident or anything. What? Oh no. What's wrong? It says the number you have called is not in service. What? Oh dear, we were totally conned. He must have came in just to get cab fare out of us. You've got to be kidding. But he was able to tell us why he wanted to join with such eloquence. I guess we aren't very good judges of character. Oh man. Sure thing. That guy completely fooled me. I can't make the same mistake again. I can't believe it. But also, I can so totally believe it. Okay, so I've got to leave and come back. What a motherfucker. I literally throw cash on the street to avoid talking to people for a minute. <laughs> How dare he waste my time? It's more valuable than him. Oh yeah, I was going to start collections too. I don't see exclamation marks, so I think she's not going to... What? I have an old connection. Free. Okay. Okay. Damn you, old man. Oh, Mr. President, about that job opening. Oh, shit, there's another one? We have another applicant. What kind of person is it, is it this time? This time, the applicant is a girl. I read her application, and she has neat handwriting, and her photo is pretty cute. I see, so she's cute. Mr. President, you better not hire her based on looks. Of course not. What do you want to do? Yeah, I'll interview her. Uh. Great, let's do this. You'll need to look respectable for the interview, of course. You know, it's kind of a pain to put on the glasses every time I do an interview. Can't I just do an interview like this? Oh, heavens, no. It's important for you to look intelligent, if you say so. Help wanted again. Surely I'm not going to get scammed twice in, in a row. Wait a minute, are you just making me wear these because you like them? Well, well, um, actually... Oh, here's our next candidate. It's time for the interview. Guess you're off the hook for now. That knock sound is so quiet, I can't even hear it. Excuse me. I'm Sakuraku Jogasaki. Pleased to meet you. Yes, likewise. She looks really fucking weird. What the hell? <laughs> Make her stand, Kiryu. <laughs> oh, right. Please have a seat. Thank you. I don't trust her. She seems like a skinwalker. She seems so ladylike. Yes, apparently her family runs a traditional Japanese inn. Maybe she helps out there. Makes sense. I can see her wearing kimono. Well, we better ask her some questions. We need to figure out if she'll be a good fit here. Right, so Jogasaki-san, why don't you take a minute to tell us about yourself? Yes, yeah, certainly. I'm impressed. This sounds like a real interview. <laughs> I 
picked up a book on interview techniques. You're studying on your own? I'm so glad you're finally taking your presidential responsibilities seriously. <laughs> well, naturally. Uh, may I begin? Oh, right. Sorry, please do. Okay, my name is Sakuraku Jogasaki. I majored in business administration. My biggest strength is that I have actual work experience. My family runs a traditional inn, so I've worked with guests daily while growing up. When we were short-staffed, I was evil, even put in charge of the kitchen. I've learned how to cook from pros. If I ever get the chance, I'd love to bring you a traditional meal. I'm confident about my eagerness and fitness. It means I don't give up easily. I very much hope you will give me the opportunity to prove myself to you. Cool. Well, also, I often get asked at interviews, so I'll save you the bother of doing so. I'm wearing plain white underwear, thank you. Wow, that was solid. She even told us the color of her underwear to shut that down quick. She's amazing. Yeah, now I don't have to ask her. Let's talk about what she just told us. Is there anything you want to get more details on? What should we talk about in more detail? Yeah, why aren't you taking over the family in? Well, I do find the job rewarding in its own way, and I love interacting with guests. However, it's also a very small, enclosed world. The entire day revolves around the inn and nothing else. Even if I were to eventually inherit the inn, I would like to broaden my horizons out here in the real world before I settle into that role. Wow, she's got it all figured out. She does. Okay. Why do you feel confident in your fitness? I belong to a dance club at my university. Dancing is more physically taxing than it may appear, so I think it has helped me build my endurance. Actually true. I think. I don't dance. <laughs> it seems... it seems true, though. I see. I imagine you do traditional dancing for your guests. Or maybe you can do that once you take over the inn? Perhaps. But for now, I'd rather find fulfilling work at your firm than think about the family inn. So she dances. I bet she'd look great doing a traditional dance in kimono. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that. What should we talk about in more detail? What can you cook? Hi. Let's see, I'm good at meatloaf, omelets with rice filling, and what else? Oh, I make a pretty great white sauce. I often use it for pairing gratins and European pasta dishes. Okay, she's got one good dish. That's good. You can make a white sauce from scratch. You're so worldly. That's impressive. It's easy to overcook white sauce, you know. Is it? Until I got the hang of it, I found it a challenge too. Assuming I get the job, I'd be happy to bring some in for you to try. That's so inappropriate. Why would you give me that stuff? I don't want your pasta. Hey, this is a job interview, not a restaurant. That's about all the questions we have, I think. Okay. Not to be forward, but is there a large inequality gap between the men and women here? No, I wouldn't say that. Thank you, it's a great relief to hear that. We just kind of pay people whatever they ask. <laughs> so, I mean, Miracle Johnson is kind of skewing that just by himself, this friggin' 50 million thing. The times are changing, you know. I was hoping I could find a job that would let me work as hard as any man. We have to hire Mr. Miss Joga Saki Chan, Mr. President. She's a keeper for sure. Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. What is there to think about? A girl this courteous and so eager to work is a rare find in this day and age. She seems that way, sure, but there's something not quite right that I'm trying to figure out. Is there something wrong? Yeah, something's off. Something she said doesn't jive. You mean she's lying about something? Yeah, I can't quite put my finger on it, though. Okay. So, she's confident her fitness because she can dance. It has to be related to the N. Okay. Hi. 
majored in business administration. Awesome. Told me about her underwear again. Dance club. Uh -uh. Wait a second. Meatloaf, omelet, rice, and European. This isn't traditional food. That's all Western food. That's the inconsistency. Oh no, which statement? Is it summary and taking over the dishes? Okay, I'll ask for the summary again. Okay. Yes, it is the summary. Summary and signature dishes. It's her summary and her signature dishes. Those two statements don't add up. Really? Well, now that I think about it, maybe you're on to something. See, the thing I was thinking was, at first I thought it was the dance thing, but I mean, it, it's reasonable that she could major in business and go to the dance club. For some reason, I mean, I, I didn't go to college uh, or, or normal schooling. It's a whole thing. Uh, but at least in Japan, they seem very obsessed with clubs, I think. So it's reasonable that she could do both. Inconsistent? Wh what might that be? Oh, she's, she knows. She knows I've got her. You said your family runs a traditional Japanese inn, and that you helped out there on a daily basis. Yes, that's correct. You said you were put in charge of the kitchen, which made you a better cook. Is that a problem? If I'm working in a kitchen, it's only natural I should become a better cook. How could that be inconsistent? Marina, let's say you were to stay at a traditional inn. What kind of dinner would you expect? <laughs> well, if it's a traditional inn, it would be, of course, a traditional Japanese cuisine like sashimi and nimono, whatever that is. Oh, in winter, a hot pot would be wonderful. Right, and what's Joe Kasaki good at cooking? Meatloaf, omelet, rice, and white sauce for garden, and oh, I don't know about you, but no traditional inn I know of would serve those dishes. <gasps> Have anything to say for yourself, Joe Kasaki san? Wow, so you're really gonna nitpick me on something that minor, huh? I bet you're real hip with the ladies. <laughs> Jokasaki san Yes, you're right. I made it all up. Grew in a traditional inn? Are you kidding? I came up with that to spruce up my resume, so what? Incidentally, I also lied about being a good cook. I got too carried away with the details, I guess. Was everything a lie? Even the part about doing a traditional dance at school? You're the ones who assumed it was a traditional dance. I really do belong to a dance club at school. But my kind of dance is hip-hop. Hip and hop? I'm so done here. Hurry up with my cab fare. I'll settle for 20,000 yen. Wait, we don't pay scammers. Huh? That's not what you promised. The posting said I'd get cab fare for taking an interview. Why else would I bother coming? You should be ashamed, you liars. Seems to me like you're a liar, too. It's okay for you to lie, but not us. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You, make, you don't make a damn bit of sense. You just don't want to face the facts. Get over yourself, princess. I bet you got everything you wanted your whole life, huh? Well, wise up. <laughs> Out in the real world, nobody's going to pay you for self-centered lying through your teeth. Uh? The real world is a jungle, not a playground, and nobody gets anything they don't earn. So get out of my sight. Ah! I actually get dominated. Fuck you. How dare you try to scam me. Jeez, I hope I never get on your bad side, Mr. President. Uh, yeah. Sorry for shouting. Mm. It's okay, but wow, that was impressive how you caught that inconsistency in her story. I didn't realize it until after you put it out. 
Yeah, it was kind of impressive, wasn't it? I'm getting to find new respect for you, President Kiryu. Oh, but I guess we have to start over with recruiting. Yeah, thanks for taking care of that. Of course, sir. Your ace secretary has your back. Ha ha ha. I'm a master detective. I'm a genius. What can I say? Let me save real quick. Awesome. I'll have to leave and re-enter. I probably have the cashola now. So that felt like at least five minutes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Delicious. Okay. Hold up, I need to invest. All right, it's 40,000. Or 400,000. Okay, masochistic man, do your worst. Oh, yeah. Oh, that went up by almost 2 million yen. That was so worth. It was just the Miracle Johnson one that wasn't worth. Oh, maybe in uh, the more expensive places it'll be more worth. Okay. My security man's almost tapped out. I guess I'll do this as well. Okay, I'm gonna quickly grab property. Oh, I want to get more more recruits. Okay. I can't believe it. Two people in a row. Okay. Coffee and snack. I don't actually drink coffee. I'm a tea drinker. Okay, 62 million. Awesome. Awesome. God, I hope I didn't fucking trip it into an electronics king fight. Doesn't appear that I've tripped it yet. All right. Well, I looked at the application, but the photo is blurry and the writing was messy and illegible. But the college, but the applicants a college graduate. Hey, is it just me, or did the quality of our applicants just fall off a cliff? Uh, don't get so picky. There aren't many college grads who are willing to apply to a company like ours. We're short on manpower and don't have any other applicants, so beggars can't be choosers. I know we were in such bad shape. Well, we are. So, what do you want to do now? Would you like to interview the applicants? Uh. Yeah, fuck it. Please put on your glasses. Okay. First impressions. Oh, this is a good one. Ah, uh, there's something about a solidly built man wearing glasses, you know? No. No, I do not. Oh, he's here. Let's do this interview. Yeah. Oh, I heard the knock that time. Excuse me. Oh, this guy looks like a fucking douchebag. What the hell? I... I am... I'm... Seichi Kokoshi Mizu. Pleased to meet you. I think he's got the same face as the, like, last Mr. Shakedown I beat up. Heat? Uh, sorry, I, I, I bit my tongue. Please be to meet you. Have a seat. Oh, right, thank you. Yeah, he looks like Mr. Shakedown's older, weaker brother. The guy's super nervous. Yes, he is. He's so nervous, he's giving me the jitters, too. <laughs> he's giving me the stink eye. <laughs> so what kind of guy do we have here? What does resume say? It says his handwriting is terrible. I could hardly read it. What I could determine that is, is that his name is Seichi Koshimizu, and that he's a university grad. So we don't know anything about the guy. I'm surprised you even granted him an interview. I'm sorry. Frankly, we're desperate for any help we can get. But this guy, I think we have to turn him down. Coming, I'll get the door. Sorry, we'll have to put the interview on hold. Uh, sir, certainly. Of 
Koshimizu. Why did you apply with us? Pardon? Uh, isn't the interview on hold? I just thought I'd talk to you while we wait. That should help br you break the ice and be less nervous, right? I, I guess that's true, thank you. When I was young, my father ran a small real estate agency. Oh, they're playing the music and everything. This guy's a keeper. Oh, so your family business was in real estate? Yes, I remember the smiling faces of customers when they were leaving his office. No one went away unhappy. X to doubt. My father always said he wanted to make people happy through his work, and I was always so proud watching him do it. What I didn't understand at the time was that he made very little profit that way. Our finances were in shambles. I respect my father, but I don't want to be like him. Why is that? I want to make customers happy, but I also want to make my own family happy. The family I might have in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I probably sound like some idealistic kid with no knowledge or real-world experience. Koshimizu, did you mean every word of what you just said? Uh, yeah, I think so, probably. I don't think I lied to you, uh. He probably means what he said. He's not like the fake interviewees we had before. I think I can trust him with our work. By the way, I don't think I'll get the job here. What makes you say that? I overheard your secretary saying you have to turn me down. You guys were literally shit-talking me right to my face. Damn, he heard that. I don't want to waste any more of your time. I think I should leave now. What? You're leaving? Yes, I'm sorry you had to do this for me. I don't need cap fare or anything. Hey, hold on. I think you deserve a chance. Don't just go. Really? But, in fact, I'm leaning towards hiring you. Huh? But you haven't even interviewed me yet. Sometimes you can tell the measure of a man by looking at him in the eye and having a conversation. Thank you very much, but your secretary said I'm not good enough. Yeah, that's the problem. I let Marina handle all the hiring decisions. If I want to hire Koshimizu, he has to win her approval. <laughs> Koshimizu, there's only one thing I can tell you. Yes? Do your best in the interview and win my secretary over. But I get really, really nervous. I always get rejected after interviews, even if I make it that far. It'll be fine. I'll help you as much as possible, so do your best. Hi. I, I'll do it. I might get nervous, but I'll give it my blessed effort. Oh boy. I'll have to help him out where I, I can so he can make a better impression on Marina. Should give him glasses. I'm sorry for the holdup. Shall we resume our interview? Hey, yes, please. I, I love, love interviews. I think this app can bus. Let's get this over with quickly and send him on his way so we can arrange for the next interview. Hey, no need to be that cold about it. He gets too flustered. Even if he's a good worker, I can't have him getting all jittery in front of our clients. That's reasonable. Okay, first things first. You have one minute, Koshimizu. Tell us about yourself. Hey, yes. Holly double dipped on the animation. My name is Seichi Koshimizu. Pleased to meet you. At, at university, I majored in Eagle, Eagle Studies. I, I think that will help me help you help people here. My st strengths are animals like me. Um, um, my hobby. My hobby is to dine out. I know a lot of good places to eat around here. That is all. Thank you for your lime. Time! I don't think he said a single thing that's work related. More like a personal ad, wasn't it? He kept stumbling, too. With that garbled delivery, it's impossible to tell if Koshimizu-kun would be useful to us. She's looking glum. If you don't turn it around, you're, going, you're toast, Koshimizu. You said you majored in eagle studies. Can you explain what that is? Uh-huh. I said that? <laughs> yes, you did. I think you said that you could apply your knowledge of eagle studies to help us here. I'm sorry, I don't remember anything I said. Knowing Koshimizu, he probably stumbled over his words out of nervousness. I better throw him a life vest. What did he mean by eagle studies? It must have been something that would have been of use to us here, but what? Legal. <laughs> Beagle studies. <laughs> That's funny. That eagle studies thing. Did he mean legal studies? That would make sense. If he has knowledge of legal matters, it would come in handy at a real estate firm. The housing laws go hand in hand with our business. Koshimizu-kun, did you mean to say legal studies? Uh, yes, that's it. I have a legal studies degree. I'm sorry, I must have said something dumb. Legal studies? Well then. Hmm. Marina-san seems to have a slightly better impression of Koshimizu now. 
Let's see, your strength was that animals like you. Your hobby was dining out, so you know good places to eat, is that correct? Yes. Well, we don't have much time. We should ask him to get into either his strength or his hobby in detail. Which would you like to hear about? He need, she needs to get the impression Koshimizu will be useful in real estate. Would focusing on his strength improve her impression of him? Or his hobby? Probably his hobby. Like, who gives a fuck if you're liked by animals? He dines out, so he knows all the local places. Tell us more about your hobby of dining out. Yes, I, I love discovering good places to eat, so I often dine out all over town. I've gone through Camarocho thoroughly. I'm familiar with nearly all the restaurants and the like in town. I think I know them all. Huh, I honestly don't know how that hobby would be useful. I think his knowledge of dining establishments could be invaluable. How do you figure? Dining establishments are commercial properties too. Popular places might consider expansion. Unpopular restaurants might turn into vacant storefronts. I see, if dining out is his hobby, he might have up-to-date information on things like that. Mm -mm. Her opinion of Koshimizu seems to improve a little bit. Okay, let's move on to the final part, Mr. President. Do you have any other questions for Koshimizu-kun? Questions from the president himself? Uh, yes, indeed. I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, okay. Your firm is an innovator of cutting-edge synergy that challenges the industry metrics. My career plan is a shared vision and engagement insights uh, conversation. Koshimizu, just relax. As soon as we got back to the regular interview format, he got so nervous he started spewing buzzwords. Better toss him a question that he can make a good impression with without getting... Flustered. Koshimizu, there's someone you look up to, isn't there? Uh, yes, but I already told you about him earlier. You did, but I want to hear it again. Take your time. Can you do that? Yes. So, so that's why I don't want to be like my father. I want to be a real estate agent who can make both my clients and my family happy. Well said, Koshimizu. Well, that might be because we were already talking about it earlier. You talked about this while I was away? Yeah. Koshimizu-kun is a pretty good guy, isn't he? It looks like her impression may have taken a positive turn. That's it for our interview. Thank you for your time. Let's move right along to our decision. I have no objections whatsoever. The decision rests with you, Mr. President. Koshimizu, you're hired. What? Really? Yes, yes! Congratulations and welcome aboard. Here's your cab fare, too. Really? Oh, really? Are you sure that's alright? I mean, you gave me a job and now even cab fare? Of course, that's what we promised. Now that you're hired, we'd like you to start as soon as possible. Can you start tomorrow? Yes, I'm afraid I don't have any experience to offer, but I will do my best for you. Thank you. Yay! We're counting on you. Yes, sir. Oh my god, can you imagine if he fucking scammed us? Do you think he'll actually show up tomorrow? I think so. If he had that much trouble with the truth, imagine what he'd be like trying to lie. I hope you're right, hmm? Oh, he forgot his bag. We have to take it to him. Why would we need to do that? He's coming in tomorrow. Oh, for goodness sake, what if... This has his wallet or real pass. He can't be very far. Could you run after him and get him to wait? I'll follow with the bag. If he's a scammer, I'm gonna actually fucking beat the shit out of him. I will make him swallow the nails. Arf! Arf! Hmm? Huh? Shit, I still get pissed thinking about that Kiryu guy. Asshole calls himself a company president? I totally get where you're coming from. You shouldn't take it out on a dog, though. He might piss on your suit. <laughs> but that cry is so satisfying. I imagine Kiryu will be making these little bitchy-ass noises. Isn't that right, dog? Whimper. It's them. Stop that. Stop. Stop hurting that dog. Koshi Mizu? Huh? What's with this guy? He's shaking like a leaf. Just shut up! If, if you don't stop abusing that dog, I won't let you! Sheesh, this guy's a real piece of work. Ejuin kun will you make him go away? With pleasure. Let's see how you feel after this. Ooh, my tummy! 
How do you like that? That's what being a hero gets you. I'm not finished with you. Huh? huh? What's up with you? Huh? Oh, my balls! Oh, <laughs> I thought I thought he was attacking the other guy. I, I'm not done with you. <laughs> was with this creep. He's freaking me out. Let's get out of here. Okay. Oh, huh. I did it. You're safe now, dog. Arf. I'm so glad. Arf. Ha ha ha. Ouch, stop it, that tickles. You're getting slobber over my face. Ow, ow, ow. Preston Kiryu, Koshi Mizukun. See? Aren't you glad we hired this guy? Yes, yes I am. Koshi Mizu, welcome to the team. <laughs> He's security staff? Oh my god. Why would we hire this fucking loser for security? He should be a manager. Anything would be better than security. He got his ass beat day one. Actually insane. Okay, is my business shit done? Payout ready, payout ready. Awesome. Wait, did we already hire that one, dude? I think it's just a guy with the same hair style oh also i noticed that uh it says popo tenkaichi street is available i wonder if that means there's a way to like this is the popo place so maybe there's a way to get it maybe i have to go from another angle why i wonder Wait, what the hell? What's this? Oh, I accidentally fucked it up. Okay, I guess weekly shonen. Oh, what's this? Okay, it just shows, um, I guess the various magazines in Japan or some shit. Okay. I thought I was going to actually read something. Okay, maybe it's in the back. There's got to be a place. Do I look over here? Maybe I have to get the friendship gauge max or something. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll get some sushi sets. Okay. Oh, I couldn't figure it out. Oh shit, it's been one hour. 